Hi, this is Edwina Sutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television on location in the gritty streets of San Francisco with a very gritty writer from Seattle, Charles Mudede. Hello. You're actually not originally from Seattle. No, I'm not. I'm from Zimbabwe. So you're also one of the editors at The Stranger, yes. one of the best newspapers, alternative newspapers in, in the country. Yeah, I am going to actually agree with that. Um. <laughs> so, but however, I did not find out about you through The Stranger. I found out about you because I was very interested in a movie that you wrote called Zoo. Right. Yeah, no, I actually wrote that as, a, as, a, uh, as an article in The Stranger. Um, it was because one man died after he had sex with a horse. I should say this, the horse had sex with him. Yes, and that was what amazed me. And I, uh, I was, you know, like so many writers, looking around for something to write about, and um, everybody was laughing at this death when it came out back in 2005. I think it died on July 2nd or July 6th. 2005. 2005. And uh, everybody was talking about it, and I decided to look into the story with a little more depth. And a little less, um, 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 ha ha, ha ha, yeah. <laughs> to say, okay, w why was a man who was a s an engineer at Boeing, um, a b obviously, you know, a geek, a geek, geek, accomplished, um, work, you know, m wrote in code. He designed guidance systems for um, weaponry and also for planes, and somebody in that kind of work, and it was called Black Ops. At the boat. And a family, and a and daughter a and a wife. And a daughter, and a son. A son. And, and, and uh, bought a house and everything. Why would he suddenly become, uh, why would he have this other side? I mean, how, how can a man really have, I mean, I, I understand that certain people can have sex outside of their marriage and come back and deal with their marriage. But to have sex with a horse and to come back and deal with your marriage was another kind of betrayal. <laughs> another type of betrayal. And you know, it'd be interesting because you come across the pillow and you find a horse hair. And you just... <laughs> it's, yeah, like, you, I see receipts here from a stable. What does this mean? Was this event considered a crime? To me, well, it was a curious crime. Sex horsing well, around. Well, yeah, because the cops wanted to know someone died and how do they die? And so the cops have to investigate it and treat it as, first of all, suspicious. And so they enter the investigation as they would a suspicious death. And then more and more they look into it, they realize it's not a murder. It's a group of men who gathered to do this sort of thing. The film, Zoo, is about this issue of sudden uh, movement because people wouldn't meet. The, the, the big important thing, and I think I want to stress this again and again, is that without internet, you could not have that community. Because basically, if you love horses and you want to have sex with a horse, it's hard to meet other people who are going to... Just come up to someone yes, and say, say yeah. hey. Hey, yeah. Well, do you want to do this with me? Should we get together? And do you know anybody else who does it? Yeah. But, you know, but if the internet allows you this anonymity and also this wider area of potential um, um, similar-minded people, uh, and so, in that sense, it's a very much, as, as, as ancient as you think horse fucking or fucking animals might be, the crime that happened at, in, in, in Inimclaw and the one that we made a film about was facilitated primarily by a leading technology of our day. And I was interested in this relationship between a leading technology and a kind of ancient, if dark, practice. How did it come about that he ended up being part of this community? That, uh, you have to watch the movie for that. <laughs> The answers are all there. Thank you so much. And we will see you on the internet. Yes, you will. Perhaps not on the yes. bestiality forums, but who knows? Yes.